today we're going to talk about what makes counseling successful. I'm Angela. I am passionate about breaking the stigma of mental health issues among fellow Christians. I'm here to help you live a more purposeful life in your relationship with God and with one another. I'm a huge fan of therapy, so usually people like to tell me about why they don't need to go to counseling. Oh, you know, I've tried it, but it didn't work for me, but it's great for you, or I just like to talk to my friends and family about it, or really the worst excuse that I've ever heard is, maybe this is just as good as life gets for me. And I get it. You know, counseling can be really hard, and there are some, some pretty big obstacles to making it work, but I refuse to believe that that counseling somehow can't be an amazing experience because we can grow and transform with the power of God as we seek wise counsel. So as I've reflected on the difference between successful and unsuccessful counseling, I realized that you need a few components um, to really make it work. So number one is that you really need a good fit, kind of a chemistry between you and your counselor to feel safe to open up. Number two is that you need someone educated in the area of your need. If you are seeking counseling for, let's say, OCD, then they need to be educated in treating OCD. You can't go to someone who doesn't know what they're doing. You need to have someone who's trained in that area. Number three is being in denial will, number one, sabotage your counseling experience. You need to be at that place where you are willing to open up and say, okay, I'm here, I'm ready to deal with these issues, I'm not gonna deny that I'm struggling, and I'm ready to address what's going on in my life. Number four is just inviting God's presence into the experience. You don't wanna make it solely emotional or solely intellectual. You want to bring every part of who you are into the counseling experience so that you can really have a holistic um, treatment and that God can really begin to transform your life. He is the author of life. And when he's a part of the whole picture, then you're gonna get a much better successful experience. Number five, fear. Fear from a prior negative experience is um, really gonna stop you short of having a successful counseling experience. It's normal to be hesitant if you've had a bad experience in the past, I know I was, um, but don't let it ruin uh, the potential for transformation and that experience for future change. Um, go all in and refuse to give up. It's, it's crucial to a better future for you. I love this scripture, John 10, 10. It says the thief comes only to steal and kill and destroy. I have come that you may have life and have it to the full. So what obstacles have you had um, as you've sought counseling and how have you overcome them? Comment below, I'd love to hear from you. And please subscribe and feel free to click that little notification bell so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming videos. I'll be tackling some tough topics and, and just sharing some practical resources for mental health and wellness. I can't wait to see you next time. I'm Angela. I am passionate about breaking the stigma of mental health issues among fellow Christians. I'm here to help you live a more purposeful life in your relationship with God and with one another.